authorities have unveiled plans to boost the country's space exploration in the coming five years. China has a brand new strategy to become the next big superpower. It's planning to build a highly advanced spacecraft that's capable of carrying people, and at the same time, it's strengthening its space infrastructure. In parallel, China is also continuing its research on how to land human beings on the moon, most probably within the next five years. On the 28th of January, China released the details about its space exploration plans. What was stated in that white paper? How are they going to achieve all these big goals? How many can travel in the new, innovative, and impressive spacecraft? Welcome back to our channel and keep watching till the end while we answer these geeky questions. No one is sure about when China is going to land humans on the lunar surface or when the station will be completely ready to go. But there is some confidential proof stating that China has some plans to carry humans and cargo to the moon in the next few years. Watching China's ambitious approach towards planning to carry people to the moon, NASA has also started to work harder in making a lunar landing of its own. NASA has big plans to return to the moon after nearly 50 years with its Artemis mission. The program will send the first woman and first person of color to the lunar surface and is expected to be completed before 2025. It seems like the competition between the countries is increasing as days pass by. This U.S. government agency seems to be so ambitious that they are not only planning to send humans, but they are also planning to do some robotic exploration of the lunar surface with the help of multiple rovers and landers. All the mysteries of the moon will soon be unraveled, and China has jumped on the bandwagon as well. Let's rewind and take a peek into the history of China's space explorations. China's space explorations did not start at one exact point. It slowly and steadily developed its space infrastructure and gradually increased the frequency and scope of its launches. After attaining some stability and pure knowledge about space, it pushed itself into several different sectors like the robotic exploration of Mars. In fact, China became the first country to make a productive landing, a rover landing, on the far side of the moon in the year 2019. The country has also propelled a long-term sustainable effort towards lunar exploration, whose ultimate aim is to send a series of rovers and landers to the surface of the moon periodically every few years. China was able to bring back some samples from the moon in 2020. Then in the following year, they launched the core module of a brand new space station. And this space station is expected to be built out in the Earth's orbit. While concentrating on sending spaceships that can carry humans to the moon, China is also planning to launch probes to asteroids that are in close proximity to the Earth within the next five years. Keeping aside all these things, the country also hopes to send some spacecraft to Jupiter and Mars again. They're also planning to bring samples from Jupiter and Mars to advance scientific research. We should appreciate the fact that before China flings the stone to a planet as far as Jupiter, it has decided to continue its research about the moon and perfect it. In the white paper that was released in January 2022, China summarized an important point. It stated that it was planning to do some space exploration following its achievements in the space sector for the past five years. The white paper explained the details of China's plan of sending two additional robotic spaceships to the lunar surface within 2027. The main function of these spaceships is to study the lunar polar regions, areas of the lunar surface that are highly anticipated to contain water ice. Among the two, the first spaceship will return to Earth with lunar samples, while the other one will carry out a hopping detection in a particular spot under a permanent shadow. We can consider China as a very curious and enthusiastic country in space explorations because they're also starting the research of its next lunar probe and also continuing its work of developing an international research station in collaboration with some international partners. The extended list in the white paper includes improving the space transportation of the country, building the country's space station as expected, updating its satellite technologies, building brand new rocket engines, and a lot more. It also looks like China is designing its plants in a way that can integrate its existing space science and technological applications in one way or the other. It looks like all these things will keep China highly engaged and busy for the next five to six years. But the country is so keen on carrying out space exploration first and has prioritized the research towards the same. At the same time, 
it also strictly follows the new development philosophy. That is, creating a new development model and meeting the requirements for high-quality development. If China successfully attains all its goals as per the plans, it'll be a core reason for the start of a new journey towards a space power. After a series of events, all these things will help human progress. China now has so many things to work out, and the list is still growing day by day. It has said confidently that it'll accelerate work on its space industry and will succeed in its goals very soon. What do you think will happen? Will China accomplish its insane space exploration plans? If not, what will be the drawbacks that'll hinder them in achieving their goals? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.